Hello Pokemon Trainers, Professor Chime here, and we are on episode 8 of Pokemon Shield. We are doing what I call the Let's Go Play series, and we are currently in the second gem we're about to play. I've already done all the things when it comes to this, he gave me a lure ball. Um, so, all we have to do at this point is... Go in and start the gym mission. Uh, this is the Nessa mission for uh, those that uh, are following along. This is the water type gym. So you only get one outfit for gyms. Um, it, no matter what gym you end up, uh, like, yeah, you can actually get the sports outfits for outside of gyms, but. This specific one is the only one you can use in the gems, which is sad. I'm sad that uh, it requires you to do that, but it is what it is. Alright, so I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do, but it looks like there's a bunch of pipes here. I mean, it, it's really honestly no different than older games where you had to do little puzzles to get to the, uh, get to the leader. Uh, the Holberry Pokemon's Gems mission is this. A challenging maze and you must reach the goal to clear the mission. However, some paths in the maze are blocked by water. What should you do then? Try pressing that red button over there and I imagine you'll figure it out, future champ. So it's a button press thing where it's a, you have to go through and turn things on and off. Let the gym mission begin. Alright. So it looks like, yeah, you can't even, like, try to pass it. And you have to start right there. Welcome to the Holbury Stadium, ready to bask in the beauty of water-type moves. It is nice that individual gems have um, trainer clothes that match the gem. And that makes sense because once you beat the gem, uh, whatever gem it is, you end up uh, having, uh, you, you get their outfit as well. Right. Putting Growlithe first was probably a terrible idea, but that's alright. We're gonna bite again. We'll take out this temple and then we'll swap out. Alright, my shell bell. I forgot I, I put shell bell on Growlithe last night. So that's useful. do a lot, but hey, one HP here and there sometimes helps. Not in this case, obviously, but hey, you know, whatever. We're gonna swap out. Um, yeah, we can actually use Spice. Spice I haven't actually had a real use for yet, so I am perfectly fine with Pumpkaboo Spice. I'm saving my, uh, saving my Pikachu for, uh, the, the harder battles. So I'm gonna swap Spice to the front of the line. Temple and I were the ones who got soaked. I should probably turn my phone. 
phone off. Uh, or at least the mute it. But ironically, as my Pokemon is healing, my the Pokemon Center uh, theme goes off. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we'll store this up. He needs what? About 30, so uh, fresh water should do the trick. Go. I always, always use the vending machine items. That is the best way to do it. Um, Q has a magnet. Spice has a berry, so I'm going to put it back in the bag. What I want to do is I want to add the shell bell. Shell item. Put it back in the bag. Shell item. Nice set of colors, all different colors. Um, there, give it the space. All right, that'll that'll work out a little better. And that means uh, Growlithe, I can get an over and berry to just be. That works too. Whatever, needed it. Um, Growlithe, held item, your bag. I hit the button quicker than I mean to sometimes. There we go. Um, and then we're gonna swap space to the front. Alright. Before I forget, we're gonna save, because I'm a save crazy person. simple puzzle. It'll be a little more tricky, probably right near the end, but it, it, it's a... Uh... Uh, okay. I see now. I see now. I need, I need that yellow one. Pressing a button stops the water, but you've got to think about the order, too. Yeah, gotta do the battle, get to the other button, and then press the one that's earlier. That makes sense. Alright, Krabby. I probably could have done a little bit more grinding before this gem battle, but it's gonna be fine. To be honest. Trapped in the vortex. Oh no. Hi, Krabby. Facing off all of these trainers is going to make things a little easier, too. Yay, Shell Bell. Actually did its job. <laughs> That'll work. Alright, Corefish. and then swap out to Pikachu. That might be the best way to do it. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out when we get there. Bye, Corefish. about the right thing to do in that battle. Well, considering you were against your type disadvantage, there wasn't much you could do. Sorry. Sorry about that. I see now. Okay. Alright, so that turns that one off. All 
around. far and you want to battle me no not in a gym who would ever want to do a pokemon battle in a gym against a gym trainer I'm gonna beat her just because she's saying silly things uh, it's a leaf She's got two Pokemon, I believe, though. Wow, it actually does, like, up to five, it looks like. That's really useful. Now, keep Hunkaboo out. Take this one out. Super effective. It's not very effective. Clubs, clubs. Not bad. It'll only take one more. back and forth with 
this. I just want to have that out of the way. There we go. Is that everything I need to do? Yeah, I guess that's everything. Check in. Sure to sink. It's funny because I think we were supposed to uh, go to the gym first, but uh, and then find out that we have to look for her. But I was looking around town and accidentally found her first, so yeah, sure. All right. Oh yeah. There we go. Goldine. Thinking bad thoughts. I don't need it. 
I don't like stat enhancing moves. They don't really do it for me. Shoot a 19, did not learn it. Arrokuda. Um, I'm gonna keep the Pokemon out. If Philux fails, I can revive it. Um, let's try a Bullet Seed. Ooh, that was rough, because it's a dark type move. Oh, man. Come on, one more. We got, we got a third one? Nope, just two. It's alright, though. It's alright. We're okay here. Yeah, that bite's gonna knock me out. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, Pumpkaboo. We'll revive you. And for the time being, Foxtrot is going to hold off Aracuda while I revive you. So that'll be good. We'll use Foxtrot. Let's see. Um, now we can use Beat Up. That'll be fun. Come on. Yeah, bye, Arakuda. Got this. So we're going to switch back to Spice here. I'm going to use that Leech Seed immediately. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving him for last. Go Dreadnought! He is kind of cool looking. I'll be honest. Uh, I like Dreadnought. Um, Leech Seed him. Flood the stadium, make it our ocean. Dreadnought, time to Dynamax. It's okay, because I can still use the Leech Seed on the Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, it's a tiny Pumpkaboo. Max Darkness. That's not good. That was not meant to happen. Okay. Did not know it was gonna use a dark type move right out the bat. Okay. But we're gonna have Fat Pikachu come out. And it's okay. Little Jubby Cheeks. Because we're Dynamaxing. And then we're Volt Crashing. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's look at that. Let's see. Gigantamax Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got this. Let's do it. Wow. Okay. That was a critical hit. That's, uh, that's terrifying. Super effective and par paralyzed. We are going to jump to the bag, use a, okay. so 68 lemonade is my best bet. Hopefully it doesn't have a uh, super effective move here. Hopefully paralysis, yeah, paralysis saved my life here. And it's back down to tiny. It wasted all of its time. So we're gonna use Volt Crash here and take it down. This'll do it. Boom. Boom. have to heal up, but just in case. And 
and she leveled up to 20, so did Zerker. She wants to learn Spark, yeah, we'll teach with Spark because no some normal type. Spark is 65 and 100, throws electricity with a tackle, and it's a paralysis, so... Um, you know, I actually like having Payday, to be honest. enough to challenge the champion. You and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this gym battle. Yay, second badge. We are good. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 30. You'll want to challenge the fire gym leader next, as you and your Pokemon are now uh, he'll definitely want to battle you. That's going to be the easiest gem because of uh, uh, Lizzie. Chime, my sincere congratulations for your victory over gem leader Nessa. Please take this commemorative to you. Whirlpool. I remember when Whirlpool was me, gem. EM36. Four to five times. Eh, could be useful. Take this too. It's a replica of Nessa's uniform. Is it, is it crop top too? Can I wear the crop top version? Now that you've won the water badge, I'll be watching to see just how far you and your Pokemon can go. Not that she w didn't watch it before, just a, oh, now that you might be winning things, I'll, I'll, we'll find out. Do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. So you will not forget the chairman's face, I will give you one of his league cards. Yay, I got Rosa, Rosa's league card. League card to the album. It's kind of a man who gets down hard if he doesn't take care of things he needs to right away. Go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible so as not to keep the chairman waiting. Cool. Um, in theory I have to heal up, don't I? Oh, it actually heals you when you leave the... Yeah, that's useful. Uh, that's actually, you know, some people might consider that handholdy, but I actually really like that. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, here's the seafood restaurant and all the people wanting to meet Chairman Rose. but the word always gets out here. Yay! Chime, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, you are invited too? You two know each other? That's great. Come now. Please be seated. Mulberry is a seafood town. Actually, if one is going to eat here, an obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Pro Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. <sighs> she was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamax. It's causing her some work. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector? 
detector. Oh, it's the device that allowed me to discover the power spots. I wonder, I wonder why. <laughs> Locations that emit Galar particles and allow Pokemon to dynamite. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. If there were something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomena lies in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it is about time we get going, Chairman. Hmm? But I've hardly had a chance to speak with Chime. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to be done, there's no time like the present, after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Did we eat food? Does he think we, he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for info on the legends, but... You've got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Nessa is no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. Yay, retaliate, TM79. Finally, getting some useful TMs, it looks like. User gets revenge for a fainted ally. Interesting. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move's power is increased. Nessa is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Gem Challenger. actually get food. There's the cook. Well, I guess I'm just I have to leave. Hey huh? Alright, mate, we both got the grass badge and the water badge right now, right? Well that I gotta get the right voice. In that case, we're both headed for Motorstoke in the five gym leader Kabu. How about I share with you a little tip about that leader Kabu? From what I heard, he's old up now in Galar Mine number two, undergoing some special training. If he's there, then he, we can't take him on in Motostoke, even if we zip right over there, putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head to Galar Mine two ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Off here and I guess I have to go this way. <laughs> All the same people. Block it and the, the bitter stuff. I don't want bitter stuff. Specialty is seafood makes me totally understand that they eat Pokemon. Well, yes, we need one of you. Yay, shallows. This one's just bullet seed. It's like a, 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 a really, really weird, uh, like, uh, absorb, yeah, where it doesn't have to actually do, you have to do damage to the other Pokemon, and I think you get a percentage based on what you do in damage. should 
probably be good. Let's try to put the ball and see if that works. No, that was quick. Alright. Guess we have to go up to a great ball now. Oh, I see you in here, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Cool, we got shell out. Awesome. Hey, level up for flame. Good times. Shellout is the sea slug Pokemon. Its appearance changes depending on the environment. One theory suggests that living in cold seas causes Shellos to take on this form. So, this is the cold seas version of Shellos, I guess. Um, let's give Shellos a name. Um, obviously it's Shelly the Shellos. It's a, it's a girl Shellos. chosen by the chairman will lose. The best voice for BD. Solosis. No. It's the next step for blue. What, like, all, all BD needs to say is smell you later, and it, it's basically blue. Um, yeah, but like, the original Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue version of blue. Um, I'm gonna switch out, we're gonna do a Foxtrot, because that's a psychic type. The third um, rival is Marnie. She's the one that, she has a team called Team Yell that follows her, 
but she doesn't like them. She doesn't want to be anything, have anything to do with them. So, let's beat up. Beat up is actually really cool because depending on how many Pokemon are currently in your party, in this case it's five because one of them fainted, um, it does five attacks in this case. Or if I had all six, it's a six hit kind of thing, assured six hits. But I'm assured five hits, so I can't really... pretty quick. Might be the Galarian Ponyta, honestly. Yeah, that's a cute little thing. And yeah, we'll try Water Pulse. I'm still much stronger even if it's not a fire type. Oh no, that's going to be my downfall right there. And, yeah, yeah, right itself in its confusion, and it used confusion. Come on, I just need to get one hit on him, and then I'll be done. Water poles, there we go. Bye, Ponyta, it was nice of Just the tip of my nose. Is it really bad? Okay. Just keeping an eye out for anything that could be considered shame. Can go back here, heal up, rather than wasting my good. Not mean to run. 
run under that. I don't have a limb pod yet, so... I guess that means I need to... rather get rid of all of the potions and super potions and go fully uh, in, in on vending machine items. They're way cheaper and you get way more out of them. Charcoal. That one's new to me. Alright. Uh, I think it's a rock. So, bullets in. Oh, I got fire rock. That's not good. Yell battle. 
these guys are pretty much drums, but <clears throat> oh, I gotta do the voice. I gotta do the voice. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey. Well, that's really something. I'd love a battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Chan. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll even be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oi, jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah, and you can't see that I'm Hop the trainer who'll be your next champion. Oh, you got a joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think I'll battle with you a lot. Would we definitely end in some laughs? Let's take them on together, Chime. You ready, mate? Two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. I'll show you what that means. Well, if you insist, your team yells gonna teach you kids that the gym challenge no joke. You better not be yellow. What does other kid have to come waltzing up for, eh? I just wanted to knock off challenges one at a time. Alright, the battle. They're both dark type. Yeah, I'll just do go against the evil. That'll be fine. There we go. Almost half. One more? No, just the two. I'll take out Lanoon for you. You can take out Feeble. That would be just grand, mate. Still has one Pokemon left that he's gonna swap in. It's fine by me, it's a bunch of extra experience, so no uh, arguments here. Oh no, Wooloo fainted. Usually battles don't last long enough for a double battle to have your opponent lose Pokemon. So this is new. Spice leveled up, Zerker's about to get there. Uh, 
Are you gonna yell at us because we up and ill and yell lost? If I had used a horn, would I have had a better chance at winning? Little Muggs, the champion's little brother. I guess that's what you get when your old brother's not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we leave quietly once we're beaten. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's farther in. We have this uh, Ringo Star thing going on for. Scottish accents for Dino. Uh, 24? Yeah, might as well. Boom. One more of those and we'll put it real close to where I want it to be. Okay, so it's in time. Okay, dry skin just completely ignores it. That's good to know. Fine, we're gonna swap out with spice. Because uh, 
yeah, that actually works out nicely. Come on, let's catch it. Awesome. Pro gunk. Works or uh, toxic. I was on how to have uh, diluted poison as medicinal. This book went from popularity after a pharmaceutical company chose it as it. That's kind of cute, actually. I mean, careful way. Because it's a poison. For helping me with my training, Team Yellow. But I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of our purple hard at work. We weren't, we weren't getting in its way. We were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yellow to scare Scarpa and a morale boost somewhere. Give a morale boost somewhere. Daring is one thing, but you one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Gore. That's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. Ah, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and Chime, am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment, so I can guarantee a perfect match when I face you gym challenges. I specialize in Fire-type Pokemon, and the Water-type Pokemon in Galamine number 2 are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Once you just go straight once you get out of this mine, and you'll reach Motostroke. Get a good rest at the hotel, and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Karkor. Time for you to head on home. I'll make sure you get there safely. Gore. Cool. Where 
we're going to be on by uh, tomorrow. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym challenges give up because they can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. job? You do know about poker jobs by now, right? Do. Of course do. Now I'm cream crackered. I'm for the, the buddy drop in and some sleep. From tomorrow, bad fire gym leader Kabu better be ready, cause I'll be coming for him. See if we can get silent there. Fire call. Aw. Oh, they're the only ones that can evolve.
Mano do céu. stop the recording, it would take a moment breather, and then come right back. I'm not even stopping the actual stream. And then we'll be starting episode 9 of Let's Go Play Pokemon Shield. Uh, you know the drill. Like and subscribe. Check out ProfessorChime.com if you're not watching this on...